Hey guys, today's Monday and I'm gonna start a new format on Mondays where I do a Q&A session. Um, I'm gonna do it live from Facebook, so we're gonna have a couple hours on Mondays where I'm gonna answer as many questions as I possibly can. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, first question. Joel asks, what's your favorite kind of coffee and what's your favorite coffee place in Toledo? My favorite coffee right now is an Ethiopian blend roasted by actual coffee. And my favorite coffee shop is Plate 21. I'm kind of biased because it's right down the street from my house. It seems like you have a lot of things going on and seem to always stay busy. What's the most exciting thing you're currently working on? Well, the most exciting thing I'm currently working on is, is a vlog. Um, it's a lot of work. So for every minute of video you guys are watching on my YouTube channel, it takes me about an hour to edit. So I'm spending between three to four, sometimes five hours editing these vlogs. And that doesn't even include the shooting that I'm doing throughout the day that takes, you know, almost eight hours. Then I basically splice it down to, you know, four to five minutes of video. Brett asked me if I can do a, head, a handstand. No, I can't do a handstand. How's the new studio going, Zach asks. The new studio is going extremely well. I'm doing between five to ten photo shoots in there a week and sometimes i'm doing almost five per day it just depends on the day and of the week um this past week i photographed five different headshots i did some photography for a glass artist and i also did some food photography a former football teammate commented and said can we schedule a time for you to come down so we can go fishing absolutely i'm down to go fishing in florida anytime <laughs> Brad asks, what's my favorite holiday? My birthday? Is that, does that count? Brad also asks, what do you think about Facebook Live versus Periscope? Well, I initially tried to use Periscope for these live Q&A sessions, but I realized I had like 10 followers, so I'm not going to be able to get as many questions as I'd like. Facebook Live is awesome because of the fact that it syncs through your Facebook and your Facebook friends see that you're live and they can ask you questions. But the only thing that kind of sucks is sometimes the comments don't come through and I see them in the comment box after the video is published. Joel S. asks, favorite sporting event covered? Probably the Super Bowl or the Daytona 500. Joshua asks, what software do you use to tether? I use the Canon EOS Utility. Um, it's the fastest software I've found. Then I use Photo Mechanic to view the images that are captured from my computer, from my camera to my computer. Andrew Wood asks, do you like taking photos in a studio or out and about at different locations? Um, each one has their pluses and minuses. I love working in my studio when I'm working uh, more on headshots. All of my gear is there, client will come in, and everything's already set up and we can get to work. But when I have to go on location, sometimes it's difficult because I have to pack all of my gear up, take it down the elevator, put it in the car, drive to the location, and then I have to unpack it and then set everything up and then take it back down. Jason asks, what's the coolest venue you've been to? Probably the Indianapolis 500. Um, I've been to every single NFL stadium and I've been to almost probably 50 college stadiums. Ben asks, Weddings, sports, or commercial gigs, what's my favorite? Well, I started out photographing sports, and I did it for almost seven years, and I kind of got burned out with sports, so I'm actually transitioning my business model from sports to commercial. Um, I've always done commercial work, but I'm actually doing more and more of it. I'm doing a lot of work for Fortune 500 companies right now. Ben also asks, what lenses do I use for sporting events? Well, I use a Canon 1DX with a 400 millimeter f2.8. Then I also use another Canon 1DX attached to a 7200. Then I use a 5D Mark III with a 16 to 35 f2.8. Then this is completely random. This is for you, Jake. How many basketballs fit in a hot air balloon? I know the answer to this just because I looked it up. It's like 89,000. Okay, Tyler asks, what do you think about extension tubes versus macro lenses? Photographing things in an aquarium. Well, Tyler, I've never used an extension tube, um, but I have used macro lenses. Macro lenses, they have a very kind of limited usage. They can also be used for portrait lenses, but um, I don't own one personally. I have rented them to use for a variety of different shoots. Michael asks, any recommendations for studio strobes? 
If you're looking for good light that's inexpensive, I would use um, Policy Buff Alien Bees. They range between $275 and $300. They're a good starter. Bobby asks, do I still kick the football around? Eh, from time to time during the summer when I get bored, but if I go out and kick too much, I won't be able to walk for almost five days. Troy asks, do you have any good coach slash player interaction stories from your years on the sidelines? I've never actually had any issues on the sidelines. Um, a lot of players like to kind of get up in your camera just because they like the attention. Um, and they're always like, hey, send, tweet, me, tweet me that picture. I kind of want to do that. Jay asked me, what do you use for local photo backup? Um, I use three different things. I use Photo Shelter, which is online service. I use three G Drive technology, eight terabyte drives, which are on my desk. Then I also have a third um, set of hard drives that I keep my parents' house just for backup purposes in case of anything would happen to my house. Tyler asks, what's the most challenging thing to learn or to teach in photography? Actually, the photography side is actually very, very easy. It's actually the business side of thing, which is difficult. Learning about dealing with clients and billing and taxes and all that stuff that you don't necessarily learn from your photography class. Mike asks, when are you coming back to Cincinnati to photograph the Bengals during football season? All right, that ends today's q and I appreciate all the comments and the questions that were sent to me during our live Facebook chat. Let's tune in next Monday I will post a time on Facebook and you can ask me more questions. This was a very open kind of broad discussion, but next week we're going to pick a topic and we're going to stick to that topic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Monday.